I think moving on to kind of the, the, brief, the breed question, sorry. Um, we get it whether it's on a beef farm or a dairy farm and which breed is better than, than this breed and so on and so forth. But from a, a dairy farmer's perspective, do they need to focus on beef breeds or can they focus within the index to select the bulls that they require for a shorter gestation and calving difficulty? Or would you encourage them to focus on particular breeds? Sure, I suppose, well, I suppose the first thing to say is we have a very good dairy beef index in Ireland. And the dairy beef index tells us about the calving and it tells us about the quality of the calf from um, a finishing point of view. So I would absolutely use our dairy beef index. And use the calving and use the beef sub index. And the great thing about the index is, it doesn't matter whether it's an Angus or a Hereford or an Aubrac or a Charolais, a 4% bull for dairy cow calving difficulty, for example, a 4% Angus bull is the same as a 4% Hereford bull is the same percent as a 4% Charolais bull. So all those indexes can be compared right across the board. I suppose the other thing that's important to say is when dairy farmers are selecting beef sires from the dairy herd, they need to look at the dairy catalogues. And um, that's where they will find the bulls specifically for the dairy herd, um, as opposed to looking at the suckler catalogues. Because all the bulls at the back of the Munster bovine and the Progressive Genetics dairy catalogue are specifically selected for the dairy herd. And they're tested in the dairy herd. So absolutely get the numbers right. It's really important to get the calving difficulty right. We all have breed preferences. So within your own breed preference, select the highest beef value within the calving difficulty that suits, um, that suits your cows. And what we really advise dairy farmers to do is to divide out their females into maidens, second calvers, cows and mature cows. And that way they can use better quality bulls as the cows get older and their calving ability increases, but they'll still have no trouble calving. And that's the secret. So we want no trouble calving, but we want to use a better quality bull on our older cows. And then when your cows get to the stage where, you know, for the actual older cows, the six lactation plus, you can pull back a little bit again, because they're the cows that are more likely to be prone to, to milk fever and, and so on um, in their later years. So um, you can really manage it well and select cow bulls specifically to suit the parity of the cow.